is frustrating. And I think it's more frustrating when we ask people to come and, you know, now tell me why I shouldn't make you tear out your five thousand dollars worth of work. Because certainly we applaud people that want to fix and make it nice and whatnot, but and I still believe that rules that you have to go by. And no, I 100% believe that, and I understand why you guys are here. I understand your plan and process. What's that? He said, so we won't get permits without the certificate of appropriate. That's the big thing. I went to get a permit on a Wednesday, told them the fence was going up on a Saturday. They showed up the next Thursday to tell me that I had to come here. That's very frustrating. And not only did I have to come once, but I had to come twice. Very frustrating. And if I had known the process to begin with, had I shown up for the permit and they said, oh, I'm sorry. And you know what it says right down here, are you in a historic district? And we checked yes. So where's the, there, there's a loss here somewhere. Well, we're going to, going to work on not having that happen in the future. Well, again, I think maybe we can come up with a process where that this could be mailed to new, new <coughs> residents who are moving to the area so they understand mm -hmm. the rules and regulations ahead of time so that they're not getting it in the back end. If they just purchased for a reason, they need to know that reason is protected. Of course, of course. And I love selling homes there. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I don't want that to change. I want people to understand that we do protect this area. The reason that I bought there was because I feel very strongly about the restoration of my home and the homes around it. However, I think it's our job to go back to them and let them know exactly what the process is. You know, it's, it, I, I, have a degree in business management and finance, and the biggest thing they'll teach in business management is that an employee <coughs> will always be angry when they don't know what they're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And then you yell at them for it anyway. 